Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video. In this episode, I've got some important updates for you regarding the FE Exam and the approved calculators for 2023. If you're gearing up to take this crucial step towards professional licensure, you'll definitely want to pay close attention to some of the updates that I have in this video. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Taking the Fundamentals of Engineering, or FE exam, is a significant milestone for any aspiring engineer, and I'm glad you've decided to take it. And one of the key tools that you'll rely on during the exam is your calculator. Now trust us, it's not just any calculator, it's your trusty sidekick for tackling those complex engineering problems that will be with you throughout the exam. Now before the big day, it's essential to become best friends with your calculator. We're talking about knowing it inside and out. And here are some operations that you should be really confident with with your calculator. Vector operations, matrix operations, using complex numbers, solving logarithms, solving permutations, solving integrals and derivatives, storing and recalling variables, converting between polar and rectangular numbers, switching between degrees and radians, solving systems of linear equations, and understanding the time value of money. Digital calculator option. For those of you taking the computer-based exam, the NCWS has introduced a digital calculator. It's modeled after the TI-30X2S scientific calculator and can be accessed on the same computer as the exam. While it's a great backup, remember it might be a bit slower than a handheld calculator. Plus, you'll have to toggle back and forth between the exam and the calculator, which could be time consuming. Avoid this hassle by ensuring your handheld calculator is charged and ready to go the night before the exam. Now let's talk about the approved calculator models. The NCWS keeps a close eye on these, updating the list annually. Here are the only three calculators that you can use for the 2023 exams. Number one, Casio. Casio lovers, listen up. The NCWS approves all FX115 and FX991 models for use on its exams. So any Casio calculator you pick must have FX115 or FX991 in its model name. Here are a couple of the approved models. Casio FX115ES Plus, Engineering Scientific Calculator. Casio FX991EX, Engineering Scientific Calculator. Number two, Unit Packard. If you're an HP fan, there are only two approved models that you can bring. The HP 33S Scientific Calculator or the HP 35S Scientific Calculator. Number three, Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments Enthusiast, you're in luck. The NCWS approves all TI-30X and TI-36X models for use on its exams. Just remember that any Texas Instruments calculator you choose must have TI-30X or TI-36X in its model name. The two most popular options are TI-30X-2S Scientific Calculator. Remember, it's also available digitally on the exam or TI-36X Pro Scientific Calculator. And there you have it, engineers. Make sure to get your hands on one of these approved calculators and become best friends with yours before the FE exam. Remember, preparation is key to success. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam, we'll publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button 
as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. So if there's a specific topic that you want me to cover or a question that you want answered, pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on pass the FE exam. Thank you.